Hello and welcome to our midweek prayer time from the parishes of Ramon and Kilfater in Ballycastle. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. And that's Galatians 5 verse 6. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our Old Testament Bible reading is taken from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, and the readings are from the New International Version. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our New Testament Bible reading is taken from Colossians chapter 3, verses 13 to 17. Bear with each other, and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray that your Holy Spirit may so guide and govern us that in all the cares and occupations of our daily life, we may never forget your presence, but may remember that we are always walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Loving God, draw near to us through Christ, as we pray by name for all those on our prayer list. We pray for Eleanor, Sheila, Bridie, Alan and Stella, Elaine, Jim, Sarah, Dominic, Sean, Kate O'Connor, Leah Greer, Margaret S, Siobhan M, Francis, Annie, Celine, Irene Mack, Barbara, Louise, Ruth Page, Bonnie, Hazel, Ruth, Ashley Gaston, Charlie, Daniel, Margaret. Do not forget your people in their troubles. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Paul, Irene, George, Matthew Patton, James and Margaret, Helen, Jean and family, Karen, Dan, baby Milo. What we know not, teach us, O Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For Alex, Dave, Claire M, Marion and family, Shauna, Jean, Emma, William, Una, Ernest, baby Abel Campbell, Malachi, Amy, Leah, Eileen, Craig, Bertie Watson and Peter. Fill us with your strength and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Judith, Sadie, Jennifer, Chris, Bernie McAfee, Martin Gillen, Siobhan, Tom and Kathleen, Jerry, Margaret and Sam, Maureen, Jude, Anne McHugh, Philip and Jackie, Margaret Williamson, Tara, Evie, John McNeil, George, Brian, Paddy and Rihanna McSee. And in a moment of quietness, we will now pray for those we hold dear in our hearts. Heavenly 
Heavenly Father, as we pray for all needing your healing touch, help them to know your presence and love, that they may seek strength from you and find peace and healing of body, mind and spirit. In your name we pray. Amen. Let us continue in prayer. In these days of ongoing and renewed restrictions because of the coronavirus pandemic, we remember especially those who are suffering from the virus at this time. May they feel and know your everlasting arms around them. Grant wisdom, skill, sympathy and patience to all involved in their ongoing care and recuperation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all of our essential services, our hospitals and nursing homes, our paramedics, ambulance drivers, our security forces, and those in the air and on the sea, ensuring our safety and well-being. For all local businesses and support services in our communities, and those who volunteer their time willingly and generously to ensure the well-being of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for all who continue to work the land, producing for our wants and needs, and those who fish the sea. May we all be respectful and mindful of precautions and guidelines that are in place, and remember that they are for the good of us all, and help us to stop and think, and not be selfish in our outlook as we go about day by day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who are searching for peace of mind, those who are sad, in pain, weary, anxious, fearful, bereaved, and those who feel bewildered, bored and fed up trying to keep safe, whilst others flout the safety measures. Help us to cast our cares on you, O Lord, and to recognise the everlasting arms of love enfolding us. Sustain us by your grace, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our education systems, for all those who are at school for the first time, those returning to school and those moving into higher education, and university students starting out on a career path, moving away from home. Be with all pupils, students, and those involved in the nurture of our children and grandchildren through this time of great uncertainty and change. May they make time to find joy in the challenge of each day and know you, Lord, walk with us and watch over us. Teach us to know you are always near and we are never alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who do not live as privileged as we do and those who have suffered in recent tragedies, for running water and proper sanitation is unknown, for those who do not have the basic comforts of a fresh bed and food on the table and no place to call home. Help us to be kind and generous towards them and ever mindful of all that we have. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give help and guidance to all suffering silently with illnesses and worries, those battling diseases, awaiting surgery to relieve pain, and for all who require ongoing treatment and medication to ensure quality of life. Be their strength and comfort, Lord, in all their days. We pray for all who are bereaved and have heavy hearts, not knowing how to move forward. Enable us to reach out, O Lord, in any small way that we can to offer care and comfort. Even a smile can mean so much. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we ease back into our places of worship and a hope for normality and routine in our lives, let our hearts be filled with joy, patience and kindness, with a genuine desire to help others, to praise rather than criticise, to forgive rather than condemn, to accept that change is the new normal and all that the guidelines that are in place are well thought out and planned for the safety and well-being of us all. We pray especially for all from whom we draw our daily strength and our ministers of faith. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Let us join together in the words of the family prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen grant O lord that what we have prayed with our lips we may believe in our hearts practice in our lives and help us so to feel your love for us that our hearts may be filled with wonder, love and praise. In your name we pray. Amen. I wrote this poem last month and um, it just seemed appropriate to share it with you today. I called it A Distance Not Walked. It was further than I thought to get to this place of comfort. I travelled depths of despair and emotional experiences. There were shadows of night, much need at night, silence and sleep to cover my soul. Whilst the leaves closed up, flowers folded their petals, no reflection of sunlight. But the dew of heaven comes after the sun has set, and we hear the songs in the night. Let us conclude our time of prayer as we bless one another, as we join together in saying the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.